Welcome to this lecture. Uh, what we're gonna do now is show you how to fix an image that is overexposed. So what is that going to entail? Now, this image is um, too bright and you can see that here on the right side of this histogram. Now, one way to know that again is that everything is shifted to the right. So. Let's go over here to the windows and let's make sure our workspace again is set in photography and that's going to help out a lot with photos and if we crop in here again this isn't the um, highest resolution photo that i'm using but again um, you will be able to adjust so go to image and go to adjustments and then what we're going to do we'll start with brightness and contrast and what we're going to do is just bring that towards the left and then when we let go we see that our exposure meter is falling um, in between, you know, zero, which would be over here, and then um, 100, which would be over to the right. So um, let's bring it down just a little bit more because our main exposure is going to be, um, let's hit OK, is going to be this area right here. There would be a practical source such as a lamp, I believe, in the shot, and that's what's going to be illuminating our face. Now, the exposure that we're looking for is going to be the mid-tones, so the skin tones. And again, for this instance, it's going to be her face. So the shadows should be dark and the shadows would be um, uh, um, the dark areas. Um, the mid-tones would be the skin tones and then your highlights would be um, those highlighted areas um, in terms of like where the source would come from. So that's kind of one way to think about this as well. So if we go to um, adjustments, we could also see our contrast and um, as it's not gonna change your exposure too much, it'll still make the image look better. So if we add a little bit of contrast um, and then make our skin right here so it's not clipping too much, um, that brings the image um, much better. That looks a lot better than before. So even if we bring it back, this is where we were at. Um, and then again, um, we'll do it one other way with levels. So we can do that as well. As you can see here, again, we can get more specific with it. So what we're gonna do is go to our um, image again. Here, let's hit okay. Let's use the brightness and contrast. We're going to bring it back to around yeah, negative 20, negative 15. We'll do that, bring some contrast into, the, into play. I like contrast, at least I have enough. Now from here, we can take our levels. And then what you can do is actually um, get more specific. So within the um, areas over here, what we can do is basically brighten, brighten up our images right here so we can add um, different kind of curves. So for me, um, you could squeeze this in and add more light towards the midtones, which would again um, infect um, or sorry, it would it would play a role in um, you know causing um, a lot more light to um, her face. So again, you want to make sure everything is leveled out. Again, if we bring these shadows over here um, more towards the midtone, you're going to see just how dark the shadows will get. And you know um, you know here would be fine. Um, that's a good image. It depends on what you want to do. Again, um, it depends on what kind of look you're going for. I think something like this um, looks a lot better. And then again, you've also got your curve. So I'm gonna show you one quick simple one. Um, and it's known as the S curve. This is used quite a bit um, in photo and video. I still see that there's room here to add more contrast. What you do is you just take your um, graph, you bring it down, and then you bring it up. And then vice versa, you could do it the other way, depending on what your exposure is like. That's obviously too much. But if we add just a little bit of an S-curve here, we'll add more contrast to the image. So it's basically crushing the blacks. Um, it's crushing the shadows, so it's making it dark, thus giving us a very contrasted image. So, um, I mean, we have fixed this image um, just with the brightness and whatnot. In fact, I wanna keep this a little bit brighter in the shadows. So all these shadow areas, um, I want to keep it, you know, just a little bit bright because I'm going for more of a gentler type of look. 
So that is going to be in a nutshell how to fix your exposure if you're working with an image that is too bright and um, we'll see you in the next lecture. What we're gonna do is just touch, um, touch up on a little bit of color and how to adjust that for you.